Jeez, it went. Okay, so today, uh, yesterday, I rearranged some of this equipment here to try and get it to where it's usable and workable. And uh, this Harbor Freight bandsaw, the 4x6 bandsaw, which many people know and love, and there's thousands of them out there, um, has been falling apart for years now. I've had this thing for well over 10 years, and it's served me well. Uh, it's a decent little salt, but this little sheet metal, 18 gauge sheet metal frame, when you move this thing, it does not move well. It starts bending, tweaking, and twisting, bolts falling. falling. And uh, the wheels were the cheapest thing. They were attached via sheet metal or whatever. They were, those bent, bent off, I don't know, long ago, and I made a quarter inch piece for it, but that's since now bent out. So I decided it's prime time that I design a new base for it because we still use it even though we bought the, the real nice um, Ellis bandsaw. There's just certain times where it's just quicker just to mow through something on this or to leave it uh, horizontal or vertical like this and to cut off, trim something. So I figured it's time to build a better base. So I went ahead and drew up in CAD uh, a base that we can cut out on the plasma table. And we're gonna make it out of eighth inch steel and uh, tubes for uh, the support deck. So. so here's the design that I came up with. So this is all, oops, this is all eighth inch um, uh, steel. So uh, I designed a, a top for it here that uh, these are tabs that fold up and these bolts right to the, the base of the um, salt and then uh, these are uh, inch and five eighth inch tube legs and I uh, have designed these gussets basically for the sides Gusset. and a bottom here so this will be uh, all weld together just weld it all together and bolt it right to it so uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut this out and see how this design goes this will be a prototype uh, prototype to production in one run there we go <laughs> So in case y'all don't believe us, Jen's walking over here, by the way, she'll be inside and you can see that rain. There's a spout there. It's probably a spout. A spout that doesn't have a spout. Oh, look at that. Hi. Be poppy, man. Go, go, do bye. Lady scared. Oh, my dogs get scared with thunder too. Whoa, Cole almost fell. God, we hit the little sleeper guy. Hey, I need the Bobby. Hey, the Bobby doing? We get the Bobby doing? Okay, bye. Meet the Bobby Doom. Computery stuff. Computery Nerd. Stuff. Somebody else today. So since we don't have a full sheet, we're just I'm just and this is just a prototype. I'm just gonna cut out three pieces, but of course I need two of these and two of these. Oh that's a really cool angle, my my friend. Do you like that angle? Or? Yes. You're real tired of the stuff in here. Oh my gosh.
So we've got everything cut out here for the stand. The fronts, my base, my bottom shelf, and my two sides. So now I just need to work on cutting the legs, which I have over here inch and five eighths. Same stuff that I used on that uh, flight simulator. This stuff here, I have enough to cut that. I'm going to do it, it's going to actually be about three inches taller than it currently is. And if I decide to add casters to it, it's going to raise it up another two, three inches. So it'll be at just the right height. side as well. Boom. What is you are doing? Hmm? What is there are doing? I'm cutting the legs. I think I have just enough material. I hope. That's it. Or I'll be well down walking <laughs> Said he's taking off the drop. Uh -oh. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, we got the legs cut. We need to clean off. With the acid clean. All right. So we're gonna cut some acid plate here and these shapes to weld to the uh, Harbor Freight 4x6 bandsaw stand. Yeah we um this is one of the center for the side pieces cut out and it happens to be just enough to cut the caster plates out so we don't have to cut into a better sheet. Half a picture. Buddy. Gotta get her made. So, I always say so in the vlog. I annoy yeah. myself. So, so, so what? So we were trying to get them on one um, plate, which they would have worked. But for some reason, my CAD program that I used to generate the G code was double generating G code, so it was trying to cut the holes twice. I kind of messed up the piece. So, anyways, these are made. So these can be welded onto the bottom of that stand now, and then we can bolt it together, and we'll have a motion, m m m motion, mimosas.
over there. <laughs> yeah, you guys should do that, and I'm gonna try to boomerang it. In the opposite way that he's spinning. All right, go ahead. Just do like a lap. All right, you're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> Look at this. That's all it takes. <laughs> That's funny. We got casters on, right? That's what they're called. Yeah, casters. Two swivels in the front. Straight stop. Straights in the back. All right, hit us up if you want some. We're probably gonna powder coat this thing. We're thinking teal. I don't think we have. Teal. I think we. Have. I think we have five pounds of blue. <laughs> we got blue. <laughs> it fault Demi. And it had these cheap little sheet metal mounts for these wheels, and I replaced it with this quarter-inch rod. Um, a while ago, but you can see what it did. It just bends it right out, pulls it. <laughs> so, all right, well, Jump. that's it for this vlog. America, America, American. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. Tell your friends. Don't do anything that Jen wouldn't do. Yeah. And you guys should totally buy these so that I can make them and sell them. I got this wheelie chair in a yard sale. Stay classy, don't pick your boogers. <laughs>